The overall goal of this protocol is to describe the fabrication of organ chip microfluidic devices for recapitulating organ level functionality in vitro. This protocol describes a way to fabricate organ chip devices for recapitulating organ level function in vitro. The, fun the devices, such as these, are actually fabricated using 3D printed molds out of a soft silicone rubber. This rubber enables us to actually imbue these devices with mechanical cues that enables us to stretch the tissue as you would get, let's say, a lung or a gut. We also add perfusion, which mimics blood flow and um, the flow of other bodily fluids within organ systems. Now, taken together, these devices enable us to actually recreate and, and uh, try to understand the complex physiology that happens in vivo, but do this in vitro. So essentially, we're experimenting on humans, but not on people. And so it's a very effective way of bridging the, the divide between animal studies that are always done in preclinical uh, development of therapeutics, and then before human studies that are called clinical trials, where there is a much greater risk to, to, the human, to human safety. And so these devices help bridge the, the divide and actually enable us to develop new therapeutics and uh, understand the basic biology that actually happens in complex systems such as humans. Top channel preparation. Wipe down the glossy side of each polyurethane piece with ethanol and clean room wipes. Place glossy side of the polyurethane over the open side of the mold in place mold. Place the mold and polyurethane assemblies into the jig, textured side against the end of the jig. Continue to do this until all the molds have been placed within the jig. Tighten the jig by turning its handle using a wrench until the jig spacing is 25 millimeters in width.